know something? For the last nine months, Travis Cook has gotten an awful lot of questions about exactly where I'm at and exactly what I'm doing. Well, as you see right here, what I'm doing today, sitting on a beach, sipping on an ice cold adult beverage, this is pretty much what I've been doing for the last nine months. You see, ever since last December, when I sold Donovan Ruddick's contract to the WWE, I've been able to do what I want when I want to do it. I can do as much or <laughs> as little as I want to do. But it seems like even being completely out of the public eye as I am, that controversy still follows me. You know, just a few months back, I, I released a couple of old videos of mine on YouTube, a, con a, a confrontation with myself and Baron Von Raschke, and, and no sooner do I release that than within 24 hours, MissouriWrestlingRevival.com picks up the video, they send it out across the country, and then 24 hours after that, here come the rumors. People saying, is Travis Cook getting back in the wrestling business? Have I, am I returning? Am I going to manage somebody again? And Herb Simmons, a promoter down there of Southern Illinois Championship Wrestling, he releases a statement saying, oh, well, we'll do whatever we can to get Travis Cook and Baron Von Raschke on a, on a program or on a show once again. We'll, we'll pony up the money to do it. Come on, Herb. You know, it's amusing to me to see the reaction that all of this got in a very short period of time. In a way, I think I understand how Sarah Palin feels right now. I mean, Sarah Palin can't go down to the grocery store and get a loaf of bread without everybody on the planet thinking she's running for the presidency, no matter what she says. Well, here I come. I make one public appearance in nine months, one public appearance, and everybody thinks that suddenly I'm returning to the wrestling business. Let me set the record straight. Why would I leave this? Why would I leave a comfortable lifestyle all the money I need, the chance to do whatever I want, whenever I want to do it. Travel the world. You can see right now I'm in Massachusetts at a beautiful lake. Nice regatta going on in the background. I've been doing a little bit of sailing myself. I don't have to come back to the Midwest if I don't want to. And here in just a couple of months out in the Midwest, it's going to be cold and rainy and snowy and icy and it's going to be miserable. And you're, you're expecting me to come back to that? Are you nuts? No. Nah. You see, I'll let you guys pontificate about what would happen if I did show up. But rest assured, I've got no reason to leave here. Now, I know Herb Simmons. Let's just cut to the chase. Herb Simmons really wants me to come back. And he's trying to set this thing up with me and Baron Von Raschke and whoever else. And he made that statement that he's willing to pony up the money to do it. And I know when you said that, that you meant that you would be willing to pay for Baron Von Raschke to come in here. And, and, and make no mistake about it. Baron Von Raschke, great reputation, tremendous name in the wrestling business. Yes, he would set you back a pretty penny to book him on a show. But Herb, what I don't think you understand is that at this point in time, with where I'm at in life, frankly, it might cost you a little bit more to bring Travis Cook in than it would cost you to bring Baron Von Raschke in. Now, there is one more thing that people ask me about, and that's Dave Vaughn. A lot of people remember the last time that I saw Dave Vaughn, he sent me out in a stretcher, he put me in the hospital. I haven't forgotten it. But make no mistake, just because I've got a problem with Dave Vaughn, just because at some point down the line, Dave Vaughn is going to pay for what he did to me, don't think that means that I am returning to the wrestling business. You see, Dave, I have friends in the wrestling business. You know that. I'm very well connected. And it won't be very hard for me to slip $1,000 or $2,000 or maybe $5,000 to somebody to put you in the hospital. Now, it might not be at a wrestling arena. It might be in a parking lot somewhere. It might be at a Starbucks somewhere. It might be at one of those Lady Gaga concerts that you like to go to. You don't know where, you don't know when, and you don't know how. But rest assured, at some point, you will end up in a hospital just like you put me in a hospital. But that doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to be there to make sure it happens. Why on earth would I leave this? I'm a man of leisure now. So I'm going to put it this way, Herb Simmons. If you have a number, if you have an amount of money that you want to offer me to come back, you have my secretary's number. Feel free to leave that number with her. But just, just be aware. It's going to take an awful lot of money to get me to take one step 
off of this lake. 